Hey y'all, what's up? If you're new here, my name is Ashika Lee. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. As y'all can tell, we went full throttle with this hair video. I'm talking color and texture. Who am I, y'all? So, if y'all are interested in seeing how I installed this wig, then keep on watching. But today's motivational quote is, Prayer is simply having an honest conversation with God. Don't forget to do that today. And with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Hey y'all, what's up? So as y'all can see, we are going to be diving into some color today. Here is the wig right here. Um, this is from Hermosa's hair. Y'all have seen me work with them plenty of times and I told y'all we just getting right into it. Okay, this is going to be a really, really, really quick install and I did something very different this time. Um, as y'all can see, the hairline is plucked. My cap is already done and right now I'm just fitting it on my head just to make sure that the wig fits and it in fact does. Like honestly, I feel like this is like the perfect fit. Um, I'm not sure if this is a medium or a small, but girl it fit. So I'm going in with the Bohold Lace Glue, and this is um, my favorite lace glue ever. And I just use the back of a rat tail comb and just kind of, you know, spread that glue out along my hairline. And yeah, I did three layers of this glue. Wait till each layer dries clear. Y'all know the drill with that. And you just want to take your time while you're doing it, really. Just make sure that all of the areas are nice and flat. There are no areas that have um, any raised product, if that makes sense. Everything needs to be an even layer. So now I'm just going in with some foundation on that lace just to make sure that the lace can blend properly. And this is the third layer. So we're going to put that on and then just, you know, smooth it out with the end of our rat tail comb. Um, again, y'all, this hair is from Hermosa's hair. This is their 24 inch um, reddish brown deep curly wig. And this is also 220% um, density. So it's pretty full. And I was pretty happy. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was actually really nervous with the color. But it turned out so nice. So after that third layer, we're going to go ahead and put our lace and our glue. And as y'all can see, the lace is already cut. Now this is new for me because I never do it this way. But I, like I said, wanted to try something very different. And I feel like I'm just going to start doing my wig installs this way because it kind of just makes it easier um, to figure out where to place the lace because you already put the glue down. You know, the lace is already cut. You don't have to guess, really. And then whatever areas are left over and was not placed in that glue, you can just go ahead and cut those off. But as y'all can see, the glue was a little bit white and that was because I was so hot while filming this video, y'all. My AC in this room was not cutting on. This day, it was about 80 degrees outside and my room was so hot like hot hot so right now i'm just cutting off the excess lace because we don't need that cutting around our ear and um yeah it just made the whole process easier with the lace already being cut and i just added a little bit of powder to that brush and i'm just going in on the hairline with some spritz as well um i used this and got to be i just didn't show the got to be and once that was drenched this is gonna help lay the lace down help everything mold and just look so flawless we're gonna make sure that we tie it down with an elastic band and for about 30 minutes i took it off and the lace is looking really good um and now it's time to part out our baby hairs so i'm doing two baby hairs on each side y'all know that's just how i like to do my baby hairs now i'm not really a fan of the one in the middle anymore you know times have changed <laughs> um but yeah these are my go-to baby hairs i just like to part them out on like a curve like a c angle and once I have those out, I go back in with my elastic band, sit for a little bit, and now we're going to go into styling. So that is actually my wax stick that I kind of just used with my comb because my wax stick was done, but you know, it would be all that product left in there and we're not wasting it. So I just used my comb to dig that out. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> gotta do what we gotta do. And we just went in with the hot comb just to press everything back. 
And why was I so close to my ear? Like, that is insane. So after we did that part, we're gonna go to the front now, flip everything over, and just repeat the same process. Wax stick, comb it through, hot comb. And I did use some spritz on this as well, just to make sure that it was nice and sleek and clean and just taking care of those flyaways. Um, and now at this point, I just said, man, forget the comb. We're going to go in with our fingers, okay? And I just combed it through with my comb and then just went in with my hot comb. And this is going to make sure everything is nice and flat because we're going to style this in a back ponytail if that makes sense and i know y'all can see my wig cap underneath this a little bit my wig cap underneath was rolling up so i did go ahead and fix that later on in the video and just pull it down from the back oh my gosh i'm so close to my ear i'm giving myself anxiety right now just by watching this like girl and i've burnt my ear so many times y'all i don't know why i'm just doing this so carelessly i guess i was just hot and over it i was trying to hurry up so I wanted to do like a half up, half down without it being so high up. So um, this is what I came up with. And I actually really loved the way it came out. It was really cute. And I just pinned um, the part that I separated out so that we can go ahead and tend to our baby hair. So once those areas are parted out, our release is melted. Just going in with some cuticle scissors because these are so much smaller. Cutting those on an angle and then curling them up with our pencil iron. And this is going to make it 10 times easier to curl and style our baby hairs. So now I'm using the Boho um, Gel and I'm actually using the end of a spoolie. Oh my gosh, y'all. Chaos. Chaotic. Super chaotic. <laughs> but I could not find my edge brush. So this is what we gotta use. And I'm just using my finger to also maneuver that product through the hair and also manipulate it so it can be nice and laid exactly the way that I like. And applying more of that boho gel using a spoolie because you know, you gotta improvise. Spoolie is just a brush y'all. So, I mean, it did the work, it did the job. And then come to find out, um, I actually did find my edge brush. I had it the whole time. <laughs> but now we are just plucking out some of those hairs because I don't like thick baby hairs. I like it to look really natural. And yeah, I found my edge brush and I'm just combing out those hairs that didn't come out with um, my fingers from plucking. So yeah, this is how it's looking so far. It's looking pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And I just went in with those scissors again and cutting off any excess baby hairs. And now we're just going to perfect our ponytail. And y'all, y'all could actually turn this look into like the cute claw clip look. I've actually done that hairstyle already. Um, go check that video out if you haven't seen it. But um, I just wanted to keep it really simple with this hairstyle. I feel like the color was just doing a lot for me. So I just didn't want to go overboard with any extravagant hairstyle. So I feel like this was really cute and, you know, seamless. The lace was definitely lacing, y'all. It looks so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. And I just went back in with my hot comb to make sure everything was nice and flat. And then I eventually did go in and redo my ponytail. But after I did that, I just, you know, was just playing with it, tightening up the ponytail, seeing how I liked it. And I did like it. It was so cute. I felt like I looked really cute with my face already, like with no makeup. So that's how I knew I was going to love the hairstyle. Um, so I just went in and brushed through my baby hairs, um, because I didn't want them like sticking down to my face. I kind of wanted like that fluffy baby hair look. So here's a trick for you. Once that gel dries on the baby hair, just comb through it and you'll get that fluffy look of course. And I just like the way it looks. So there we have it y'all. This is pretty much the full look. I went ahead and did my makeup off camera. It was something like something quick. I just wanted to get like the full effect of the hairstyle and I actually also um, added some eyeshadow to my eyebrows to make my brows match my hair. I feel like it came out really cute and it was such a cute little touch to the end result of this wig install. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, super quick with these videos y'all because 
y'all know these are we are pro okay i am a pro at this by now and i hope y'all enjoyed it leave a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and check the description box for the link to this exact wig and their website and i'll see y'all in the next one bye Mwah.